La, la música criolla viene de lo que es. The música criolla comes from the mix of black, cholo indio, and Spanish people. Y el cholo, o el andino, el indio. Waltz has a certain rhythm, but the untrained musician of the region listens to that music and then starts to play the guitar. He imitates the rhythm from the waltz, but he begins to play in his own way. And so the waltz becomes the Peruvian vals. The people from Angola brought the ondu and lundu. Lundu was a matrimonial rite that was about having sexual union. The dancers get together dancing with sexual gestures. The dance was forbidden during the colonial period and had to be camouflaged and then it became Lando. Later, it became Semba Kuke. Semba is greeting, Kuke is dance. After that, Semba Kuke became Sama Cueca. The purest races came from Angola and the Mandingos. The Mandingos, Angolans, and Mozambicans originated the Bantu language. The name of this cajon is in Kikongo, an African language. Inca is a drum and kwa is wood, wooden drum. Black people were forbidden to play music. Their instruments were stolen from them, so they had to make the cajon smaller. This is the most important part of the cajon. This produces lows and this produces highs. The technique of the cajon, it is highs, lows. The cajon has first variation, second variation, and third variation. We have bass, Complement, ornament, and repique. These are the four parts of the cajon. For instance, in a festejo, the cajon has to play bass, complement, ornament, and beating.
This instrument is called cajita, or small box, and it comes from churches. Later on, a stick was incorporated, and then another stick was added to beat the cajita. The music that came from this movement was El Festejo, and that is the dance that represents the union of all blacks from all races. It's a dance to celebrate and to have fun. The festejo has a rhythm of 4-4 that everybody danced in their own style. For instance, Congos, Yorubas, and Mandingos dance festejo differently. Those different expressions were passed down to us, who are the Afro-descendants born in Peru. All those movements become festejo. The festejo is the main contribution from which all dancers were born. In Huanuco, the music talks about black people, and they do it with their own Andean sensibility. For instance, El Atojo de Negritos has Afro-Peruvian roots mixed with Andean music. Negritos de Huanuco wear costumes that symbolize the colonists. They represent them with a silver chain made of coins and a bell. They dance in unison, the chains moving and rattling. Through their dance, Andean people tell us about black slavery. In my own family, there is an Andean influence. I have family from Wanuku. When a black man marries an Andean woman, we have a Zambo. When a black marries a white person, we have a mulato. Abelardo Gamara was a historian who saw the Sama Cueca in so many incarnations that he gave it a new name, La Marinera, in tribute to the Peruvian Navy. Not only blacks dance La Marinera, but all social classes here in Peru started to dance it. It became a Peruvian dance. Many people think that it has a Spanish influence, but the only Spanish influence it really has is its verse.
Pero ese es el resultado. This dance is the result of what the Angolese people brought, the Ondu and the Lundu. Sus alas 